ओके हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू ड्रॉप बाबा तो जैसा मैंने अपने पिछले वीडियो में कहा था कि हम एक एफर्ट करेंगे यार टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इंडियन फुटबॉल और uh, आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत ही स्पेशल गेस्ट एंड एब्सोल्यूट ऑनर एंड प्रिविलेज टू हैव रंजीत बजाज सर विद अस तो सर थैंक यू सो मच पहले तो आने के लिए सर आपने हमारा इन्वाइट एक्सेप्ट किया और मतलब आज एक अच्छी कॉन्वर्सेशन करेंगे हम और सर सबसे पहले मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता हूँ कि डेली फुटबॉल में जिस तरीके से मतलब आपने एक अपनी पहचान बनाई और जिस तरीके से आपने मतलब मिनरवा एफसी को एक तरीके से स्टैब्लिश किया तो सर थोड़ा सा उस जर्नी के बारे में बताएं सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉप बाबा इट्स ग्रेट टू बी हियर ऑन योर शो मैच थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी एंड शो विद हाय मैन एंड थैंक्स अदिदे थैंक यू सो मच आप प्लेजर सर अम सो इट्स बीन um a very very momentous and eventful exciting journey see very few people get to make their love their profession and love your profession so not only that it's very few people actually get to have very idealistic goals and then follow them for the country so i think i'm very very lucky that i am one of those select few that been able to do that because i would not trade my life for anything else man i mean i'm living my dream and my dream will culminate very soon uh, and it's not only the main the you know the thing is that it's not only my dream i'm living the dream of 1.4 billion people so mm-hmm. it's our dream mm-hmm. so if and i make our dream come true and have a little part to play in it that can nothing no bigger achievement than that so the and it was all by accident so the whole journey was all by accident i was a football player myself and i was playing till the last competitive football match i was playing was in the duran cup in probably 6 7 7 years ago and also before that uh, in the santosh trophy which happened in delhi and that was till the age of what 36 man and i was playing and but i stopped playing in the middle for 10 years that was just my comeback which i had So that was abroad, and I came back, and I wanted to give back to because I played for India under nineteen, and India under nineteen was the time. So you know, the whole point was giving back to something which I always my proudest memory, no matter what, will always be in the March past when I was uh, in the March past in the Asian school games, and we were representing wearing the blazer, and that blazer is still occupying the place of pride in my house, and is framed and put there. along with all the national trophies the blazers there and that because that's the inspiration so i knew what it means man because you play at 17 18 uh, under 19 ke lo india ke liye is at 17 18 or under 13 under 15 doesn't matter that's your highlight of your life and then there ones who are lucky enough to actually go and go and play in the senior level so what happened was when i came by made a comeback it was just because i wanted to get fit and i knew how to play football and in chandigarh is a small city i was able to do well got back into santosh trophy team the boys who played with me uh, obviously all youngsters man i was 36 and they were all youngsters they were all really good and they were all picked up from places all around chandigarh uh, we for the first time qualified from the rounds of zonals and we made it to the final round we never chandigarh never done that the first time we did that so i knew the bunch of boys we had in my team were really good so i formed a six aside football club because there was no other tournaments happening here and the six aside football club won every tournament there was to win in india for example that means we won at 30 that year so again technically they were really good we came to know and in the 11 aside they were good we already came to know they said that you know we either we leave paji we leave football right now because there is no scope here either we go to calcutta and give a trial or go to goa and give a trial otherwise there's no football in punjab earlier there used to be jcity jcity when once jcity shut down there was no, no club for 70 crore people of india what i mean is for up for madhya pradesh for odisha for jharkhand for chatisgarh for jammu kashmir himachal punjab haryana delhi chandigarh there was only one jcity hmm. and that shut down imagine there was nothing even one jcd was not enough but then there was nothing so i never thought you know when they came and told me this you know the, i started looking at it and the budgets for running a second division club were 30 to 40 lakhs a year uh, and i said oh my and that document just running it okay i'm not even document mayor winning it 
and that was impossible to do because i was working in my academy and there was no chance i was able to get 30 to 40 lakhs at a go so these boys said okay fine bhai we you, you do it you have land there we will convert that into a football field and after that farming land okay a farm so it's crops were grown there for donkeys of years and we'll play for free hmm. so we don't need money because they were already playing for me in the six a side i said okay fine and i'll play in the initial rounds for you and what do we need so we looked up the rules that we need to win the state championship to be considered so then we went to chandigarh and uh, he said please hold a state championship because they had not held one for mm. four years before that mm. so they said no 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 are you mad what is it then nobody is going to come and play there are no clubs in india chandigarh like at least put out put out an ad you will see there's a lot of interest and we will take care of all the money which is required for your state fa means we don't have money but we'll collect it for you so they said okay the budget will be around 50000 and we'll see what the response is 42 clubs somehow overnight sprang up in chandigarh because 42 clubs took part in the championship 2015 16 and we won it okay we won it and we won it handsomely so we told them please uh, send our name they sent our name and that time aff probably was want as always trying to go to new places and show that they have developed football and they that's why they said they pick up a new place okay sir you know we develop football here also <laughs> <laughs> and whereas it was the first time the state league had happened there mm-hmm. now we were not supposed to do well but the boys were so good we were runners up to tempo and tempo was in this comeback and we were five time they were five times national champion the most successful i league club mm-hmm. but at that time tempo also owned fc goa they owned fc goa right and, and isl was a 40 day tournament mm-hmm. there was no cms crs you could play for as many clubs as you want so the entire i league the second division we were right there with tempo and the last match we required to beat them at their home four days before that was the fc goa final where the fracas happened and the all his fra- players from kattimani to romeo to mandar and everybody got free so then minerva went to tempo's home in the final match when we were requiring a win and played against the fc goa team which lost the finals to isl so we lost 3-1 so we thought man we are out we are runners up but okay great journey and all tempo we drew from the i league so we said okay come on man you have to give us the entry now we are runners up we deserve to be there so like the hashtag goes aff don't kill our dreams <laughs> <laughs> they tried to do it they said no we no no remember no. that yeah, yeah. remember that they said no you have to come in through a corporate entry yeah so i said what corporate entry we not a corporate we qualified as runners up Mm-hmm. So he says, no. If you have to come into I League, give us a three crore bank guarantee. I said, what mm-hmm. are you talking about? I'm not worth three crores. What are you talking about? How can I give you a three crore bank guarantee? Mm-hmm. I said, I can show you that I have spent over three crores in the last one and a half years because the football field which I've converted from basically a fo- uh, farm farm to this, the mm-hmm. value of that football field is four crores in the market because it's two acres. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that is what I've invested because I've invested that. That is an investment, and mm-hmm. that is going to be there. It's not going to be taken out tomorrow. Okay, it's not just made for a day. So, and then I said, okay, fine. In the first year, look what I have done, which none of your ISL or I League clubs have done. In the very first year, we had a grant of ten lakh rupees from my parent academy, the Minerva Academy, which is an armed forces academy, and that was the only money, seed money we had. In those ten lakhs, I spent it all on my under fifteens. So the very first year when we were runners up of second division, we won the under 15 nationals and yeah. the first ever the Nike Premier Cup. Now that batch, that batch was special. So we had people like uh, Shubham Sarangi, then we had Jackson, Anwar Ali, Shah Jahan, uh, then we had Radha Kanta, then we had uh, people like um, in the front Vikram Pratap. We had Shubham Sarangi and Vikram Pratap were actually in the front and Manveer Singh, the other one who's in Manveer Singh. That man, we was there. Papa. Vikram Pratap used to be the third striker, and in the back you had we had people like Toyba and um, you know Jackson and Anwar Ali were there. So you, Narinder Gelot was there as well. Narinder mm-hmm. Gelot, yeah. So all these guys were really, really top class man, and they, and we knew that we had a good batch. The under seventeen World Cup was happening next year, so we got into the I League, and then we followed uh, the normal thing what a new club does. So like what Bangalore United did or DSK did listen to agents, listen to the ones who are already there in football, and hire the most expensive players because you're listening to agents. 
Mm-hmm. So the very first year I remember because I was in the I League. That's what Rajasthan United did this time, mm-hmm. and they're now regretting the same thing. Uh, whatever money you had, you spent, and I got into a debt of three point five crores. Okay. That year, and we came ninth. And I had people like Thapa, German Preet, Lalwan Puya. I mean, you name the player, I had him there in my team, and they all in the ISL right now. Great, all of them were superstars. But that that time. They were. I had got them all on loans from ISL clubs at very expensive rates, or I had got them at very very expensive salaries because I didn't know anything and I was just following that. And that taught me a lesson. The next year, I said, "Okay, fine, fuck it. I can't survive like this. So what I have to do is I have to go back to the basics. The ones who got me here are my boys. I'm going to trust them, and I'm going to add that with my juniors now who are already in the under 18 match." And in the third, because at that the second year when we came nine, we won the under fifteen again, and there was only under fifteen. There was no under eighteen, and there was under eighteen. There was no under thirteen then. There was under eighteen because we didn't have a team in the under eighteen, so we should just participate like that. Then that batch of my under fifteen after three years became seniors, so seventy percent of them plus my second division boys won us the first ever I League title. The second year we were in I League, and that year Mohan Bagan East Bengal. And that is the year Mohan Bagan paid three point eight crores to Sunny Nordic. So that year, our mm. budget for the entire I League club plus the under fifteens and under eighteens was one point four crores. The entire budget. Right. And we did it. Mm. And I got players after myself doing every the hard work of scouting players like Chencho, of Kiran Limbu, of Kasim Adara, or of uh, William Okoku, Eric Dano, who no one had heard of. and because they were not established stars and i was taking a risk i got them really cheap and it really worked because as a see if you were a footballer yourself or you played football and then you've been able to run a football club for so long and you've been able to do well you should truck always trust your own instincts you should never go on a uh, third person just because he thinks he knows more so that's the lesson i learned so we won that then we were established that same year we won the under 13 under 15 under 18 and the senior so we were the only club in the indian football history to hold all four titles together we represented in in the afc we did really well except right we we didn't have we had five draws man we did <laughs> five draws and the last match we lost in the last second um when the bangladesh team beat us hmm. so did really well there now at that time i had a choice so we had already won seven national titles and we had won the reliance school school title as well so eight national titles but and started producing players so when round glass came to us and said that we want to we don't want to be waiting so long and getting into the i league by going through this process we just want to buy the into the i league all your bunch of players because we've got this facility we're going to spend this much money on it and take it to the hub. to a higher level than what you're doing so when is your baby and you're going to set up the academy you think about but when is players and they you know that you're giving them something better and giving them all the boys who went from here got better contracts better money better facilities so i i was the happiest why because now i could double the number of players if i had shut down after that that would have been the biggest disservice to indian football yes i would have been a really rich man but instead of that now i had an opportunity to turn that bloody farm excuse for a football academy into a world class facility because understand the seven national titles came from a place which was a farm it was not a football academy right now we are a football academy we are the only ones probably in india now who have who's, who's going to have three football fields full size we have a indoor futsal court we have a gym 4000 square foot gym we have hydrotherapy pool we have a physiotherapy and rehab center we have a sand pit we have a basketball volleyball badminton courts table tennis rack i mean we have then uh, classrooms here we have analysis classrooms we have uh, the hostels are here the mess of over 450 people who can eat at the same time is here so we have an integrated campus you would can't become footballers playing 3 months so like abhinav bindra has put up on his wall outside the olympics is not every 4 years is every single day is every day you got to prepare and you got to do more than the people who are already there at the top level you can't do less than them or equal to them 
So playing 15 matches with the 15 matches, 20 matches a year is not going to help. You should be playing 50 to 60, 5 0 to 6 0, because other countries are playing 40 to 45, because that's how far back we are. And that's what we were doing in the 90s, 80s, and 60s, 70s. Our boys were playing 50 to 60 matches a year. Even though there was no organized league, there were at least 10 national tournaments where all the biggest teams used to be there. Minimum 10. And they used to get that game back. Okay, so coming, don't, I want to, so it was a great thing. Now, the thing was to go to always to new places where football is not there. I don't want to go to Calcutta. Yes, there's more money in Calcutta. And I could have just with my name had a brand and uh, made sure we have an academy there where I can make tons of money. So it was Ranjit Bajaj's academy or Minerva's academy. Okay. Or I could have gone to Mumbai or to Goa. I want to go to Himachal because there's no football in Himachal. We went there with Tektro Sudesh. We won the title there and we came runners up. We went, took the, women, the women's team there and they won the title as well. So then after that, when our opportunity came my way with a club like Delhi FC, there's an entire story behind it. Now, the story is, in 2017-18, we won the I-League title. Yeah. We hardly used to have any fans, especially in a place like Jhana, Chandigarh, Panchkula. We changed stadium three times in three years because no government support at all, especially in North India. These, uh, I, we used to go play practice matches pre, pre I, I used to love the preseason because I used to be able to take on these ISL giants and then beat them in their own backyard. And they used to be paying for our stay and our food and hotel. And I used to love them. <laughs> that, <laughs> that must be a beautiful was, high, right? Yeah. That was, that was <laughs> yeah. Going to Bangalore FC's facility in Bellari and going there, staying there, and then going and beating them. We've done that three times. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I used to love it, okay? And yeah, it was yeah. a great, great way of showing the boys that, see, the Bangalore, it's not about that we were better. It's all being honest about it. Bangalore FC were playing as a practice match and they wanted to get their tactics right. We were playing it as for a matter of pride. So when you yeah. play for pride, oh my God, fuck your tactics, you're going to play all out. Right. Because they, you always have a point to prove. Okay. Yes. You know, and any any team which plays a bigger team, they're playing for something else than just points. Absolutely, yeah. So hmm. uh, when we did that, this, this is Dynamo's Ultras. The first time I saw Ultras in India who were hmm. claiming to be Ultras, and the kind of chants they did and the kind of behavior they have, yeah, it's kind, kind of ultra-like. Uh, I used to be, I had a stint, the very first roadies, I was a roadie. So, we drew with them in one match and we, I went up to them. Oh, sorry, yeah, we beat them. We beat Terry Dynamos in the, in the match and these guys were really pissed off. But I went to them and made really good friends with them and they had good banter and I loved them. So I invited them over for our matches here to support us. They used to travel, man, 20 of them, 30 of them, 40 of them, all the way from Delhi to Panchkula or to Chandigarh or to uh, Ludhiana. And uh, then travel all the way back to just to attend our matches. And they were there even for the final iconic match when we won the title. So they were supporting both teams, okay, at the same time. Because we were not rivals in any way. So we used to be calling ourselves brothers from the north. That was the hashtag. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was brothers yeah, yeah. from the north. Yeah. So to get around that, you know, these guys, the other dy dynamos guys won't be that. Then when that happened, when Urissa, I mean, dynamos went to, yeah. and to Urissa and Urissa FC, there was a very acrimonious breakup, as you call it, <laughs> yeah. between ultras and them, which was as very well documented in Indian football. So uh, I never wanted to go into Delhi because out of all, if you say the Indian politics is bad, the worst politics I've ever seen in Delhi in football and is in Delhi. Oh my God, it's it's so bad. It's like uh, Calcutta into 10, where the politics is concerned. But there's no football. At least in Calcutta, there's football and, and politics. Mm. Here, there's right. only politics. Mm. Right. Why? Because they have a history as old as Calcutta. They have a 71-year-old league history. They have four divisions. They've never had a national title till Delhi FC came this year. So it's not about Delhi FC done great. We have not yet, we were the same. We've been right, your neighbor. And it's again because of the way it's been run and uh, the infighting and the corruption and everything which is there. Mm. So when we came in, I told these boys that only way I'll come in is if you are part of the club. The ultras are actually part of the administration of the club. That means you guys are responsible for making sure that 
we will after your they are now all students and all so i want at least four guys who are on permanent uh jobs when we actually get to the i league and isl so it's going to be your club for life because you i want you guys to have part ownership of the club so when we actually become a company i want to give you a part percentage there so no matter even if i tomorrow take an exit you no one can ever touch you because it's your club it's your city right. Right. then to connect with the city the whole point is the people say you know the culture is not there culture is not there anywhere man you have to create a culture culture doesn't mm-hmm. happen overnight culture means being created over a period of time you can't why do you think all these isl franchises have failed because they try to create cultures overnight like you can't do that right so how do you connect with the fans you connect with them by helping them when they need you the most mm-hmm. and to do with other stuff than football so when you're a community club or a community club means not a football club any club if you saw uh, in the covid times east bengal and mohan bagan fan clubs were the ones who were helping in the covid the most wearing the colors and going out absolutely yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah that is community so mm-hmm. the culture comes from that kind of stuff where the community mm-hmm. thinks oh my god ye apne bande hai yaar mm-hmm. not a corporate sitting somewhere and controlling that shit that is why bangalore fc is pretty different from other clubs they've got a culture because they do that kind of stuff it's still a community kind of a club in the city absolutely yeah west plus yeah. the connect is there and that is what the support is so die hard yeah. now for us during the covid times from giving free meals to helping the homeless to giving blankets out to feeding the strays any kind of community outreach with uh, you raising funds you know and our social media being active and helping and retweeting what darren was doing Darren Kalera did a great job. We were uh, we were helping him as well, and I was doing that personally. So we did pretty well. We were having crowds of just two hundred people, three hundred boys, four hundred uh, boys and girls, in fact, coming and supporting us in the, the state leagues, which was never heard of in Delhi State till twenty years ago. Twenty years ago, Ambedkar used to be full mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. even state league matches mm-hmm. and um, Durand Cup, all the other cups which were there. so the whole point was that we never planned for getting into the i league the whole plan was to make sure we dominate delhi football from day one and we give it the success the delhi fans want see for the ultras to come and start supporting uh, from an isl club you know to a lower division club shows that they were not plastic fans that they were just in it for the glamour they really wanted a club of their own and they just desperate for it so we gave them that and because of their support we we got three titles we were we i think are the most successful indian club this year in covid because no one else has got three titles so titles i'll always count either national or state and we've got one national and two state titles so again not to show off again again to say that all these things are possible why we did it was because my team was training morning evening morning evening all other state teams in delhi called their teams two months before the league and played that's why we were so vain about it. simple hmm. so that and in the futsal um um we sent our under 16 team to play in the state league in the delhi state league and they won now look at the irony these boys came from tata trust hmm. okay okay they were in mizoram right tata trust had four centers of excellence in india they all closed down What about the COVID? Before that decision had been taken. Hmm. Tata Football Academy, the holy grail of Indian football, Absolutely. has not produced even one international since ISL has come in. Yeah. That's so. How are you talking about football sports development? Is football not sports development? Is developing your own product? So, for example, Reliance Foundation. Reliance Foundation budget for every year for Reliance. for the reliance football schools is over 12 crores right that is more than the budget of the indian football for the seniors and the juniors and the men's and the boys and the girls so why if you are actually developing sport in india why wasn't that money in that world class facility which they have beautiful for developing the indian teams also so when you look at regional leagues you're talking about delhi league for example when you look at mizoram as well like the, when you talk about the attendances that they that they have for their own teams that's more than uh, the regular attendance for let's say an isol uh, playing a game there so uh, w- where do you see where do you feel 
we are going wrong when it comes to that particular aspect of indian football see i think uh, more than club rivalries state rivalries can be worked on mm, yeah. and these people in the isl and the i league realize that and that is why they banned us from having any sponsor names in front of our state names and they forced us to have a state name as well for example the only other than mohan bagan is bengal jsw had to be removed Hmm. that hmm. Odisha FC was not Delhi Dynamo's was finished. They were trying hmm. to make state identities because they want state rivalries to happen. Hmm. And the only place in India where you can have what you can have is state rivalries. Oh my God, you can play on it so much. Absolutely. Hmm. Like imagine if there's a there's a derby between Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Oh my huh. God, it will blow every people place. will go crazy. <laughs> hmm. yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So the same thing. And um, what do other teams do? So if you have a league. where you have your states participate and at the same time you also invite uh the national teams of other no not national teams the state teams of other countries right next to you participate right example you get bangladesh to come in yeah and bangladesh to come in the isl i'm talking about mhm and imagine if there are four teams from bangladesh there and one team from nepal and one team from this imagine if this is an actual kind of an ipl which is happening yeah market it well you've got to make it it's more approachable now it's not about getting chances to your players you will be our boys will get chances in the bangladesh clubs now because mm. the, so you're increasing mm. your market so you're not being invited to go there you are calling them here so you are building your brand mm. but they're not looking at it as a brand they, the whole point is their vision is zero they don't have a vision also you have sir you have a bloody vision yeah, document man. absolutely absolutely it increases the pool of players available for the national team as well right that's like a major problem that we have been facing since quite some time now because it the, the pool of players that are being selected from in the national team currently if you're looking at in the past 4 to 5 years have been pretty regular i mean these okay. are the regular so, people here. see now this is such a big, huge problem and people don't realize it in fact when the new coach comes he doesn't know the rules So this new coach came in and he said he got the match. He came in very openly said, "I'm please doesn't matter as long as you have an Indian passport doesn't matter which league you've been playing in. We are looking at you and all that crap." And all my boys were really happy. Yeah, we're gonna put together. <laughs> yeah. After one month of that statement change, that only people who play in ISL. ISL only. Yeah. Now look at the conflict of interest. How can a how can you select the national team only from a private league, hmm. which is closed, closed to merit? Yeah. Hmm. that league is close to merit that means even if i am the best team in india unless i have 18 crores a year to give to the franchise uh, to mr ambani i cannot get in there simple as that it's just simple as that yeah. even if i am the worst team in india but i have 18 crores to give him i can get in there so if there are 10 the worst teams in india they are not money so the our national team is only being selected from the worst team i'm not saying there's a worst team in india i'm just giving you an example mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. so there's nothing this merit is not the factor which is getting these teams in they can sign anyone they want i can name out of the all the players there are 40 players who do not indians who do not deserve to be even in fucking isl in i league also mm-hmm. they're that bad but there is no other pool nobody knows anybody else see you have to see um if it, it's about form jobby justin is scoring goals for india and you have india matches you don't take him right the back of the net is the same why does isl Why do ISL teams play with I League teams if they think that we are of a lower standard? Right. Our, our results don't say otherwise, and so does preseason, postseason. Whatever we play them, we give them a good fight for their money. So the Indians, they are trying to say that the players in I League are less. No, the foreigners are yes, because obviously, because if you get the top striker from Australia, Roy Krishna, or somebody else, he's better than obviously the ones we we are able to get at three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. Right. but the indians are not because there are 35 indians in the isl and 35 in the i league you mean to say they are not even 70 players in india T- top 3 nikal lo chalo char nikal lo you would say thapa in the midfield or chetri in the front or sandesh bhai ji hmm. other than that everybody is just this much man hmm. but your pool is only 35 players now look what you do with 35 pi se 35 is or if i say 40 is you will give you will call to the camp only those players who are regular in their team mm. Mm. if there are seven foreigners you had only four indians playing 
out of the four indians there were only two who were regular maximum maximum hmm aur chalo three hmm now multiply that into 10 you have 30 players to choose from hmm how many center backs you have four center backs to choose four from four center backs goalkeeper choose from so there's no choice basically hmm. anyone who plays is in the indian team hmm and he knows that yeah so there is no sense of competition left एक प्लेयर जो आपने जो कंपटीशन वाली बात की ना सर सॉरी बट एक प्लेयर जो मतलब आई डोंट नो इफ आई कैन नेम दैट प्लेयर और नॉट बट ये मैंने बाबा के पॉडकास्ट से ही पहले बोला था कि देयर इज वन राइट विंगर दैट वी हैव इन द इंडियन नेशनल टीम बिकॉज ही इज प्लेड इन बेंगलुरु एफसी फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम लाइक देयर इज सर्टेन सेट्स ऑफ कॉम्प्लेसेंसी जो आ जाती है दिमाग में कि ये प्लेस तो मेरा ही है और मुझे कौन हटाएगा सो हां टीम गोलकीपर मिस्टर गुरप्रीत सिंह संधु या कॉम्प्लेसेंसी एंड ही इज बिकम वर्स राइट हम बीइंग ऑनेस्ट एंड ही इज अ ग्रेट मैन एंड आई टेल हिम ऑन हिज फेस द लेवल ही वाज एट एट 3 इयर्स अगो वाज डबल ओवर व्हाट ही वाज प्लेइंग ही इज प्लेइंग नाउ and that comes from not having any competition that's yeah. what is important. yeah and the so he, it's not that uh, the other ones have gone up he's gone down because he was way above everybody else was performing the same he was way above them now the level so that's what happens with all positions right also and, positions ki confusion ho jati hai sir okay. i think aur upar se tum ye batao ke uh, jo ye i don't abhi ye jo dard abhi dard nahi hoga ye dard hoga hamare ko चार साल के बाद और देखना क्या चार साल के बाद यू फाइंड वे द फक हैव द प्लेयर्स गॉन एक्जेक्टली सो द वंस हु आर 33 34 32 देयर आर अराउंड 20 ऑफ देम एक्टिव राइट नाउ फुली ओके सो इन 4 इयर्स दे हैव गॉन डन नाउ हु आर द वंस हु आर गोना कम इन द वंस हु आर नाउ 18 दैट मींस द वंस हु आर 21 22 बट 15 टू 18 तो कोई 3 साल से प्रोड्यूस ही नहीं हुआ हम्म वो जनरेशन ही चलेगी है Hmm. तो इसका मतलब क्या होएगा वो जो बूढ़े है ना वो 40 साल तक खेलेंगे एग्जैक्टली एंड देन यू विल कीप सिलेक्टिंग द सेम प्लेयर्स एंड देन यू विल कीप गेटिंग थ्रैश बाय यूएई सिक्स मैन ये इवन ये जो रिलायंस होता है ऑन दीस प्लेयर्स हु आर प्लेइंग गुड एंड लाइक कोच सोच लेके ठीक है यार ये तीन चार साल और तो खेल ही लेगा ठीक है तो क्यों अभी और क्यों देखना अंदर जाके कि भाई इसका नेक्स्ट लेके क्विज को लेके आएंगे ठीक है uh i'm giving an example let's say komal thattel for example komal thattel had a great under 17 world cup after that when he comes into the fray of like of these big teams atk atk mohan bagan mm-hmm. ki agar main baat karu they literally wasted him like if i can be very blunt right now uh, they you have li- to be blunt bro if <laughs> you are not see, see, this, is not, this is not being blunt this is just stating the facts yeah they literally wasted they, him they wasted i mean him and for example i'll tell you इन द यू गो बैक ए एफ एफ की ऐप है आई लीग वाली सो उसमें जाके यू कैन सी ऑल दीग एप उसमें सबसे पहले जो जूनियर लीग अंडर फिफ्टीन हुई थी सबसे पहले जो अवेलेबल है टॉप स्कोर टॉप स्कोर इन द टूर्नामेंट इज शुभम सरंगी थॉट के चलो इसकी आगे स्ट्राइकर इसको जगह तो मिलेगी नहीं कभी स्ट्राइकर में तो इसको पीछे ही खिला लो या या फिर विंगर बना देते हैं हाँ ठीक है सो व्हाट इज हैपन्डिंग गेम टाइम सब मनवीर के साथ भी तो वही हुआ मनवीर सिंह के साथ भी तो विंग पे खिलाते हैं और खिलाते हैं उसको उनके साथ सी सुनील चेत्री इज ही बिकॉज़ ही सुनील चेत्री बिकॉज़ ही इज बीन प्लेइंग ऑल हिज लाइफ गेटिंग 90 मिनट्स ऑफ गेम टाइम इन हिज पोजीशन इन एवरी क्लब ही इज गोन टू राइट सिंपल राइट व्हाई डू थिंक ही लेफ्ट बारी एफसी एंड केम बैक और द अदर क्लब्स इन केम बैक बिकॉज़ ही वाज नॉट गेटिंग गेम टाइम या पोजीशन सो इट्स इट्स वेरी सिंपल मैन गेम टाइम विल गिव यू प्लेयर्स and what is happening in india is ab ye 3 saal ka waise nahi hua 18 to 21 to waise kisi ko game time nahi milta in india mein because there are no leagues for them hmm and they are hmm. not good enough to play in the seniors yet hmm it's a huge fuck up which we have so unless we do that see we need a complete re- overhaul and revamp of the system and just saying it is not good enough 
so i was saying that yesterday in my podcast and i want to say it very very clearly and again this hashtag we've been using hmm. AI, hashtag aff don't kill our dreams <laughs> <laughs> so it's very very simple for example this boy called neeraj uh, tech pro tech pro hmm. i've been supporting him because as a 19 20 year old he came to me with a dream that i want to do something for the people of up and football in this and we are in a very bad way and they were look at the population of up man is 30 crores 25 20 28 30 crores and we never heard of even one good player coming out from there not because they're not good players there because they're not being able to give a platform so there are over 50 teams just in lucknow people don't know that hmm. and they start playing there and this team was really good and they had to, they tried first ki state league kara lo state league kara lo up mein state league hoti nahi hai so two teams pragyaraj and tekro came all the way to himachal registered their teams in himachal and played there to just to get an opportunity to get to the second division they won it and right in the end they said no you can't go in why you can't go in because a team which has not played any league but is a sifarshi is going to get in Hmm. So don't kill our dreams. Air it was clear. Is hmm. clear a dream killed of how many boys? So there were thirty boys who were all under twenty three there. Out of the thirty boys, twelve have left football. Damn. Hmm. That's sad. Because this was the last. The parents had told them that if you get in right now, get in. Otherwise, twenty one ke baad inaugural. And all of them were so good. I guarantee you, there were three four boys who would have guaranteed made it as an ISL player at least. but they didn't have a place to play so the indian they they got the girls team there because they wanted up girls also to do well they won that indian women's league got cancelled mm. it's got dead out mm. of those 26 girls seven are married now done maybe if they had gone to the indian women's league their dad would have said nahi yaar meri beti professional ban sakti hai yaar mm. she can do Killed more dreams. The same thing they did with India's entry in the Asian Futsal. So you have to see, understand what that matters. If people don't realize, it's not just India's entry in one tournament. It's a revolution. You have, jab tak see, you don't score unless you shoot. Absolutely. But to fucking shoot, you have to be there, na? You don't know. You can't even shoot if you're not there. <laughs> Simple. We are still regretting. Abhi tak na ham sochte hain yar, by God, how stupid were we not to send our entry when we had a chance in 1950 World Cup match? Mm. Abhi tak bol rahe hain, oh my God, oh my God. Mm. This is going to be cried after 20 years because all other countries have realized that football is very important. You better get your ass. That time we used to think, oh, football is not important here. Now football is not important here. And fucking Nepal thought is important. Maldives thought is important. The Taliban thought is important. Taliban. <laughs> Why? Because it's Tali. being, bro, it's being run by the Taliban, na? Yes. Mm. Then, mm. Now and they are now they've been airlifted all the footballers from there. They're living in Germany, the Afghanistan football players, and from there they are playing these tournaments because they want they want a future in football. See what happens is you have one guy, for example, I'm just giving example, Nikhil Mali, who was way above it. He does really well in the World Cup. We get to the semi-finals or Asian Cup semi-finals, and people say, "Oh my God, you're just talking shit." No, I'm not. The only place Indians can do well immediately is in futsal. Immediately, here mm-hmm. size doesn't matter mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the moment you foul a player after the fifth foul is a direct penalty. The penalty is from fucking five yards. You, it's a goal every time. So nobody can touch anybody in this game. So there's there goes your physicality out of the picture. क्या रह गया फिर? Speed इतना सा ground है. क्या रह गया फिर? Skill we'll fucking kill everybody in skill. I've got boys who can do four thousand taps with a tennis ball, with a TTT ball. Ye jitne marchi kralo sir, circus me join kralo one play Indians. The skill hai. That's why we used to fuck everybody in hockey when the skill was there. And then we, when the skill came out of the picture and physicality came in the picture, we thought, oh my god, we can never make it again. No, the point was because we didn't have any astro turfs. We were fucking playing in rada grounds and trying to play them in turfs. Now India has over eight hundred turfs. Eight mm. hundred. now we beating germany 6-0 so we can beat them in hockey in a field game we can definitely do it in football so in futsal it's about creating a that spark so um 
we do real we get fans nikhil mali makes it to a club abroad or in iran iran are the world cup champions by the way yeah futsal world cup champions are iran five countries qualified from asia in the lithuania world cup asian countries all five of them reached the knockout why because you can't touch us here man vietnam uzbekistan thailand does very well in futsal world standard i'm talking about iran obviously korea japan obviously because the game is developed any football nation whose game is foot, football is a high standard has a high futsal standard mm-hmm. why because it's a small sided game it's the same thing people don't realize rondos and ssgs what the hell are they it's futsal man so the more com- if you are able to play in compact spaces when you go to a big ground you find what space and mm-hmm. that's what the whole football game is about space if you are able to find space on the field you the master so but uh, just one question here regarding this untapped uh, field jo apne baat ki about futsal right uh, very attractive uh, proposition for us to be in to reach those levels absolutely uh, but don't you think that the ignorance on the part of aiff i'm not saying jo bhi bolunga that's the only reason for it but one of the reasons for that also is the culture that we have that is very prevalent in india ki bhai तुम अगर हम चले भी गए फाइनल फुटसल के अगर चले भी गए फाइनल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप लोग बोलेंगे कि तुम फुटसल के फाइनल में ही तो गए थे ठीक है क्या उखाड़ लिया ठीक है इज इंट दैट आर एंड दीज स्टेटमेंट्स आल्सो वन ऑफ दोस रीजंस दैट प्रोबेबली एआईएफएफ इज आल्सो इंपैक्टेड बाय यस सो दैट मींस इफ एआईएफएफ इज इंपैक्टेड बाय दीज स्टेटमेंट्स द पीपल हु आर इन एएफएफ आर द रॉन्ग पीपल because somebody who is running the game of football should understand futsal and football are the same part and parcel Absolutely. that is why fifa has not said we don't want this game man fifa has said beach soccer futsal cement football is all part of it that's why there's a world cup for futsal there's a afc cup for futsal there's a club championship for futsal there's junior yeah. development that license the coaching licenses are different there's an abc and pro for futsal why because it's a game which has got so much to do with football that unless you're good in football see for example by i uh, like we go outside every ground we see we see people wahan pe na itne se jagah bhi hoti garage ke samne ek patthar lete hain we put three sticks aise bana lete hain ek mummy ka jo kapde dhone wala wo bat lete hain chalu kar deta hai chalu kar deta hai seedha विराट कोहली सारे और तेंदुलकर का रहे सारे बैकग्राउंड पे ये क्रिकेट खेल के अब ब्राजील में सारे फुटबॉलर कैसे बनते हैं फुटबॉल खेल के वो एक प्लास्टिक की बॉल या पेपर को रोल करते कपड़े से रोल करके कपड़े बांधते हैं हां रस्सी बांध के स्ट्रीट फुटबॉल स्ट्रीट फुटबॉल इन फ्रांस इन दोस दे हैव दिस स्लम में द लो इनकम हाउसिंग एरियाज सो बाय लॉ दे हैव टू मेक रिक्रिएशन फैसिलिटीज फॉर द पुअर पीपल सो द द चीपेस्ट थिंग दे फाइंड इज मेकिंग केज सीमेंट का केज उसी में तुम फुटबॉल खेल लो उसी में बास्केटबॉल खेल लो सारे फ्रेंच फुटबॉलर्स ऑफ नोट फ्रॉम थियोरी ऑनरी टू मलूदा टू एवरीबॉडी हैज कम अप प्लेइंग सीमेंट फुटबॉल इन स्ट्रीट केजेस इन फ्रांस द सेम वे ऑल द बास्केटबॉलर्स ऑफ बास्केटबॉल हैव कम अप प्लेइंग स्ट्रीट केज बास्केटबॉल वन ऑन वंस टू ऑन टूस ऑल सेम वे ऑल क्रिकेटर्स ऑफ नोट हैव प्लेड दिस सी अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स द होल पॉइंट ऑफ हैविंग दिस व्हाई डू यू हैव एसएसजीस SSGs are small sided games meant to develop these skills so if you have a good futsal network that means you already have a technical skills you don't mm-hmm. need to work on that you already have a center the more people who play because see every school either has foot, football court ground near they mm-hmm. will either have a volleyball court or a badminton court or a tennis court or one of these courts or you know any court mm-hmm. basically it's a futsal court you don't require anything else you just require four cones and a ball that's all you require you don't even require space which is the main criteria that is why if you want to develop football futsal is the most important thing because you cannot take football fields world class football fields to every corner of india but you can take a futsal field to every corner of india yeah i mean even in terms of reception as well like agar hum log bhi office ja rahe har monday hum futsal khele jaate hain so mm-hmm. in terms of reception it becomes very exactly. really easy Aish, now okay what is the um, how many football fields have come up in india in the last 5 years and in recession and covid times and how many turfs turfs have come up mm-hmm. oh my god i would say one 
10,000 percent. Suppose mm. if there were 100 actors in India five years ago, there must be 10,000 right now, man. I can guarantee it because they're 20 in Chandigarh only. Mm. 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 Why are they coming up? Because people are playing it, na? Exactly. Mm. Otherwise, yeah. why would somebody open it? Oh, it's a good business. He's making so much of money. Let's open. Sir, I'm Jaipur. Se hun. Jaipur mein hi 10-15 ho gaye hain pichle do teen saal mein. Dekh lo. Or kya hai? Ye logon ne apne liye kiya. Ki thik hai, tum bhi na the na, tum se na hoga, hum apne liye karte. और हम अपने आप खेलेंगे और 24 आवर्स के हैं कुछ तो मतलब सारे टाइम मतलब क्या भी भाई इमेजिन भाई आई कांट बिलीव इट दे आर बुकिंग स्टिल 2 एएम एंड दे स्टार्ट एट 5 एएम अगेन हां बेंगलोर में तो सर 12:30 को बुकिंग होती है 12:30 को रात के 12:30 बजे लोग खेल रहे हैं और साला घंटे के लिए हजार हजार रुपए लेते हैं और चलते हैं हजार रुपए लेते हैं चलता है चलता है एग्जैक्टली और एक नहीं 10 50 बंदों आई मीन जयपुर जैसे सिटी चंडीगढ़ स्मॉल सिटीज में ये 20 20 10 10 टर्फ सर आने Hmm. So the interest is there. The hmm. People are even willing to pay for a good facility. Hmm. Everything is there, but they have to be. Uh, imagine if they organize this. Organize them. They've hmm. already got the futsal players all over India, man. Every turf hmm. is a futsal. Every turf you go to, you can find at least one or two good players there, man, who can hmm. make it into the state teams or local teams. Both hmm. are. Like, oh yeah, that's there. But just, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. It's already there. There's yeah. no one to tap it. Yeah. And whose yeah. job is it? AIFF. And how would they have done it? If they had done this futsal thing, imagine, uh, see, Hamarko, I didn't realize it, but we had 57 or 58,000 views on a, on the YouTube on our final of our futsal, Mohammed mm. Sporting. Mm-hmm. And it's not because of Mohammed Sporting, because Mohammed mm-hmm. Sporting matches used to get 11,000 views, normal matches. Our use matches, Delhi FC's matches used to get 20,000, 18,000 views. But it was a final of the futsal national championship. It got over 50,000 views. And it was also live on Eurosports. ट्रेस but the new boys, they don't want to fucking have one goal. They want mm. to celebrate like Ronaldo after every five minutes. Mm. Mm. They want to have a quick game for 20 minutes so that they can get the fuck out of here. Mm. Mm. They, do, they cannot sit for nine, 20, 90 minutes before a match, 90, 20 minutes after a match, and 90 minutes watch a match, and mm. the game ends 0 0. Mm. Oh my God. Same way, the people you say, you can't be sitting for five days and watching a test match and it ending as a draw. The millennials are speaking. Yeah. It's true. In a fast track world, you need to keep up. Mm-hmm. Where do you have goals per minute? Futsal. How do you attract people to the game? Futsal, because their goals per minute, the new audience will come. Otherwise, this new millennial will go where? They'll go to T10s or T20s, which already they are. Or they'll go to Kabaddi. Or they'll go to even hockey, which is now doing buzzers and short, short periods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, wasn't that the intention of Premier Futsal when we came our country? So, wasn't that the intention of actually promoting Futsal That's itself? Right. So, so huh. I'll tell you why they did Futsal. Okay. So, um, the whole story is, I, ICL started up with ZTV. Mm-hmm. And yes. BCK was gone. What are you doing? You can plan for years. If you had an idea, it was good. किसी और का बेबी चलो ये क्या ये तो हमारे बेबी से अच्छा लग रहा है एक काम करते हो अपने बेबी को मार दो इसको ले आओ इसको बना दो नंबर वन तो बीसीसीआई जो किया था इसने ऑपोजिट किया Hmm. The same way they are doing futsal because that Premier League of Futsal happened. And every they banned it immediately. Even though Virat Kohli, everybody, they banned it immediately. Ronaldo. Don't you dare. It's part hmm. of us. We are owners of futsal. Yeah, sir. Hmm. We are owners. You are owners. So there are over 5,000 futsal players who take money and play even now in India from Cape and Calcutta to Mumbai futsal. Everybody futsal is very important and people are earning money from it. So to push karwado fir unke liye national league karwado there's a asian championship club championship everybody is doing it ha ha hum karayenge karayenge 
इस साल नहीं कराया दो हजार क्योंकि कोविड हो गया अभी कोविड हो गया अब कोविड हो गया तो फिर कोई और कहता कि हम शुरू कर लेते हैं फिर नहीं 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 हम करा रहे हैं हम करा रहे हैं करवा दी फिर अच्छा अब इसके बाद एशियन चैंपियनशिप भी भेजना पड़ेगा ओहो जो बात करते उस टाइम पे आई थिंक आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू अबाउट दिस दैम्बोलिक स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ग्राउंड प्लेइंग इन and uh, at that particular point of time and basically in terms of how it was organized during the, during that time uh, i mean that ye if you connect that to what has happened recently uh, okay. ye ek pura umbrella thought jo hai ki the equality jo aap baat karte ho jo gender ha koi equality ki to baat hi na kar equality chhod ha they are uh, wo hota na ek uh, save the girl, save the girl child ha ha यहाँ पे इंडिया में है कि लेट द गर्ल चाइल्ड एटलीस्ट ब्रीद सो सांस तो लेने दो सांस तो लेने दो सो दे आर एक्टिवली ट्राइंग टू किल ए हैशटैग एएफएफ डोंट किल आवर ड्रीम्स दे आर एक्टिवली ट्राइंग टू किल द गर्ल्स फुटबॉल बिकॉज़ दे आर मेकिंग श्योर दैट सी जो आई एम बीइंग ऑनेस्ट विद यू व्हेन यू आर 14 13 15 11 एंड यू आर इनटू स्पोर्ट्स इन अ बिग वे योर स्पोर्ट्स क्लोजेस डाउन फॉर 3 मंथ्स और 3 इयर्स और you have no opportunities you will not give up sports you will go to a different sport is hmm. simple as that hmm. simple hmm. leander pais leander pais is a footballer his first love is still football hmm. same way ms dhoni's first love is still football he is a goalkeeper hmm. Hmm. you know the number of people we've lost in football to other sports because of this so in the indian women's league if the women's league goes on for 3 weeks in the worst grounds ever simple agli baar kaun sa baap apni beti ko wahan participate karna dega jab agli baar women's league hi nahi hui 2 saal se aur fir jo world cup mein pahunch gayi hai unke sath ye hua hai hmm yeah so whatever are women so hats i mean whatever praise you give them is not enough because they have been able to achieve so much in spite and despite of the not step motherly hitler like treatment of these girls why because they have had zero facilities zero money in the in the pandemic man i had to send them money and sh- and sure. reason i sent them money was to shame aff because i knew at the moment i send them money and put it online they'll send it and that's what happened i send them money the next day they send them money any anyway, we are looking after over <laughs> we didn't the excuse was We didn't know the addresses of these girls, you know. Actually, अरे बाप रे बाप. And I put it out on this. I said, "Oh my God!" I said, "I." And how did I find oh. the addresses? I went on to Twitter. I said, "Please help me find the addresses." Within twenty oh. minutes, I had all the numbers. Mm-hmm. So you think AF 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 would have put out an appeal? And come mm-hmm. on, obviously you have the numbers and addresses. Exactly. So What's up? What should I tell you? Yeah. Huh. So it was starting from there. We saw that they are not interested, and they are going to do it in a very bad way. And when this Asian Cup came. they had a chance to redeem themselves and probably do something about the women's thing see somehow we had a great chance of getting into the world cup again like futsal futsal is one thing same with women we need mm. to get it to world standard see indians will indians are people who are very proud mm. they do not like to follow anybody of anything unless we are world champions mm. unless 1983 happened in indian cricket Indians would have never had this revolution. Mm. You fucking mm. win the World Cup in football, and cricket will be left far behind. I guarantee you that. Mm. Mm. But that, so, but you have to qualify, and you have to get to the World Cup, na? Yeah, pe to entry bhi nikra hai, invitation bhi aati tab bhi nahi bejte. See, I the Indian women. I mean, I can imagine what they went through because for two years they've been preparing for this. They were this close to the World Cup. I knew they were going to beat Chinese Taipei. Yeah. Australia would have definitely got to the semi-finals. Two so, of the quarter-finals. That means a fifty percent chance of getting to the World Cup. Our women would have got to the World Cup if we had done anything of the stature. Our men would have been shamed. Mm. That means AIF would have been shamed. Why? Because they are the men. 
yeah. AFF would have been shamed into doing something because everybody would have said, you fuckers, without your support, the girls are made to the World Cup. And wherever you are spending thousands of crores, you can't get rid of them. That means you are the fault. Hmm. They would have been exposed totally because you can see the amount of money they spend on the girls. So they would come to know that g- girls have gone not because of them, but in spite and despite of them. World Cup is not going to be able to do it. What is it? 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 A dictate has gone out to all the girls that you are banned from speaking to the media. Now, you are only banned from speaking to the media if you are trying to hide something. Because mm-hmm. if you ask a question, the girl will not make up something and answer. She will give you the facts. That mm-hmm. means you don't want the facts to go out. Mm-hmm. The facts are that the girls stayed in a hotel which was totally different from all the hotels which the other team was staying. All mm-hmm. the other teams was staying in some other hotel, four, four or three, three teams in one hotel. And AFF had a special hotel in Mumbai where they were staying for some reason, ex- inexplicable. So that means if it's a single hotel and you're having one team, obviously it's not a biosecure bubble because the hotel is running mm-hmm. other things. That's a camera mm-hmm. hotel. And if you're in a camera hotel, it means that it's so cheap bastards. Hai mm-hmm. so and they were also in Kochi and they were also in Kochi. And they were also in the normal flights. Mein, malab, bhej diya tha players ko. Now, normal flights. Very good show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. China was so concerned about this World Cup that they chartered a flight. Mm-hmm. Iran bhi aayat, na, sir, Iran chartered flight. a flight, mm-hmm. Australia chartered a flight, I think as well, mm-hmm. just to get to this World Cup. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they don't want to screw with the bio bubble. These guys called VVIPs to the match without RT-PCR tests. All journalists had to get RT-PCR tests, but VVIPs were allowed in the same stand without RT-PCR tests. Mm-hmm. Then they were allowed to go right till the end of Diva Python Stadium, which is actually a cricket stadium. Girls were right here. And they were like, well done, well done, well done. So airborne disease is hello. Hmm. Even hotel staff staff according to the rules and regulations of AFC. AFC yeah, it's local the organizing committee. Yes, it's the host, it's the host organization, member association's responsibility. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Keep the biosecure bubble for safe. Exactly. Achha, okay. Agar ho jata na, ek bhi aur team hoti, jisko mm-hmm. chhe, saat, aat ho jate, to baat maan lete, yaar ho jata hai, karo, thik ho. 16 mein se sirf hum. Mm-hmm. That means we were the least, we were, we were having the least biosecure bubble and protocols there. Why man, we should have had the maximum. Aise golden opportunities nahi milte hai, yaar. How do you know? You think any ugly bar karjang in Nai Karenge Q? You can Indians women pe pass in Nikarch Karte, EM both Galti se Ponchke, Agle Char Salme, Baki Desh, Pase Karch Karenge, or Bo Age Jayenge. Jesse Vietnam, Dasal Pele, men's football may a Marse both Picheta, Ab Subki Parra Asia. Hmm. Ek Academy give us because they spent all the money there. Yahape Jo Pase Ate, grants Ate, Mr. Praful Patel gives it to every state association, to the fucker who will vote for him. And that guy goes and puts that AstroTurf in the district FA of the guy who he wants to vote for him. So this is a vicious cycle. And that's why the grants only go to around three or four states. Simple. Also, sir, this is not that we are incapable of actually providing all of those safety measures because ISL may almost every match day at least minimum of teen RT-PCR hote hain. Theek hai, ah. minimum teen RT-PCR hote hain, sab ke, regardless of whoever it is. But if you are media, you are going to be a team. Minerva is a biosecure bubble. Hmm. Touch wood. We <laughs> 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 have been a biosecure bubble without hmm. any cases. Why we have a very strict protocol here. I am not allowed to go and meet my campers who are inside, even though I'm the boss. Yes, I want to see a match. I will not meet them all. I will go and sit under a tree and away from his. So people are not, we, are, we take it that seriously. Mm-hmm. Because our hostels are there. One of them is there, then all the people who are in the hostel, 30 people, 30 people, all the people who are in the hostel. And because they are huge halls and they, we are screwed. 
सो वी नो द इम्पोर्टेंस इम्पोर्टेंस है कि मेरी अकेडमी बंद हो जाएगी सारे बच्चे चले जाएंगे घर इनका क्या इम्पोर्टेंस था हाँ जो तुम वर्ल्ड कप से बाहर हो जाओगे नॉट एशियन कप से तुम कर चुके हो वो वर्ल्ड कप से बाहर हो जाओगे एंड एज अ होस्ट नेशन तुम्हारी कितनी बेजती होगी सही बात है बिकॉज सी इफ एनी अदर नेशन एडिट वे आउट इन्होंने ब्रीच किया साले यार अपने आप बाहर कहीं गए होंगे इट्स हैपन टू आस मैन एंड नॉट वन ट्वेल्व एंड देन देन सिक्सटीन हो गया सो सिक्सटीन आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉजिटिव चार पहले थे बारह उसके बाद हुए ठीक है हम्म तो सर ये तो अपन ने मतलब काफी एड्रेस कर लिया डिटेल में कि क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं और मतलब किस तरीके से कम्युनिटी कल्चर जब तक नहीं आएगा चीजें इम्प्रूव नहीं होंगी वो अपने बहुत मतलब एम्फेसिस दिया उस people voting for the president is the same see we keep on voting we keep on blaming praful patel for everything but it's not praful patel's fault it's the fault of the people who are voting him in mm-hmm. so when True. you ever when you vote uh, vote for him so if all the people voting for him don't vote for him he's not going to be there mm-hmm. now so every person has to now start demanding answers from the state fa not the national fa mm-hmm. so unless we change the state fa the national fa will not change स्टेट एफेज ऐसी हैं कि सिर्फ दस स्टेट एफेज अभी एक्टिव है एक्टिव का मतलब जो सीनियर स्टेट लीग कराती है ट्वेंटी स्टेट एफेज आर जस्ट देयर जस्ट टू गिव हिम वोट्स सो अनलेस दे आर ओके दीज सेंडिंग दम फंडिंग ऑन द फंड ईटिंग द फंड नो फुटबॉल दे आर ओके बिकॉज दे आर सिटिंग देर इन पावर एंड हिज मैन इज सिटिंग देर एंड दस द रिलेशनशिप दे बट फुटबॉल विल नेवर ग्रो दिल दो सो एंड दैट हैज टू बी डन बाय कमिंग टूगेदर अगेन as a consensus so we'll have to carry out a cons- kind of an operation now in the mm. next four years before the next election comes and i'm saying it openly because and see guys agar tumne sabko blame karte rehna alag baat hai and if you honestly you want to see india in the world cup if you are honestly want to do it in our lifetime because agar hum 4 saal ke baad change karenge uske 20 saal ke baad effect aayega mm. tumne us time mm. pe jaake dekhna tum dekhna hai to kuch kar lo अगर तुम्हारे को लगता है कि बैठे बैठे पहुंच जाएंगे बिकॉज ऑफ इंडिया पॉपुलेशन इज नॉट गोन बिकॉज फैसिलिटीज एंड गेट रिचर एंड रिचर एंड रिचर लास्ट टेन ईयर्स वी बीन द रिचेस्ट वी एवर बीन एंड वी गेटिंग रिचर बिकॉज वी नाउ वर्ल्ड पावर एंड नाउ सिंस द टाइम वी बीन अ वर्ल्ड पावर इन द लास्ट टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स आर फकिंग फुटबॉल इज गॉन डाउन दिन सर रेफरिंग पे कुछ आप बताना चाहोगे कि कैसे इम्प्रूव हो सकती है क्योंकि रेफरीज इज अगेन द पार्ट ऑफ द होल सिस्टम सो द इफ इनको गालियां सुनते हैं इनको बोल दो तुम चेंज हो जाओ तुम चेंज हो जाओ इसको चेंज कर दो इसको चेंज कर दो उसको चेंज कर दो द होल सिस्टम इज करा द होल सिस्टम इज इन सच अ वे दैट यू हैव टू मेक चेंजेस द टॉप एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स विल चेंज नाउ रेफरीज आर नॉट एट फॉल्ट because the kind of referees who are attracted to being a referee right now are people either who are very very well off and okay in their house and they don't need it as a job hmm. or people who are totally dependent on it as a job so the ones who are earning money through this will not be of top quality why because the kind of money they are paying them i would earn more as a street laborer than a referee i'm not kidding that's what they are paying him what's the average sir if you can tell us so 4000 rupees they get for an i league match what okay that's okay <laughs> and they get a tada of 700 rupees so their contracts are for around 2 months where they are able to get five matches so they make around 25 to 30000 rupees a month sure now when they say this corruption in indian football yes there is to the players no because you have to badi corrupt the whole team mm. and through referees to influence matches no they don't influence matches because galti se kya hota dusre team goal maar jati hai football itni beautiful game mm-hmm. you cannot fucking corrupt a match unless you know he is so blatant like he was in the semi finals of the fucking afcon right mm. now the guy who blamed for it mm. was very very blatant referee <laughs> uh you can do spot fixing that means you give a yellow card to a particular player 
mm. um, you give extra time or particular amount and all these things are very blatantly happening for example if you see that all the state leagues suddenly have started being broadcast right that's the state leagues they are jo hoti hain hmm there are five broadcasts ho rahi hain hmm hmm rajasthan bhi hui hmm hmm rajasthan bhi hui to sabke rate aate hain bet 365 pe hmm state hmm. fas ko free mein milti hai broadcast hmm. they don't pay the broadcast anything why is the broadcaster doing it because he's making enough ads from those guys they he's not corrupt he is just fucking showing the matches because of money showing showing him them paying him to show the matches mm-hmm. but if in my delhi fc in match day i have four comments from fans i have 20 comments from eastern european or european countries asking me the score or why this match was fixed and why we didn't score six goals and what the fuck we lost so much of money we lost so much of money we lost so much of money now the odds given there are the normal odds one is 7 one is 8 one is 9 so suppose somebody puts a 1000 dollars on a particular yellow card being given to a particular player that's spot fixing odds are 1 is to 20 1 is to 30 so 1000 dollar laga diye 20000 dollar uske aage hmm. is referee ko sirf 1000 dollar dene ki load hai kisko state referee ko hmm. uske liye is 3 month salary hmm proper or it does they think that's not corruption yeah why i didn't affect the match bro that's not corruption you must certainly affect kiya yaar matlab usually you man i mean suppose he got two yellow cards and he misses out the next match and that guy is out for the main match pura hi kar diya exactly pura hi kar diya anything which is dishonest and you're doing something to affect the game in any way any of your decisions is dishonest hmm. Hmm. Uh, but there's nobody to see according to indian football aff there has never been a report on match fixing in india and i was the first one to make it when we my players got offers uh in a title winning season and i made it open and there was a inquiry by acu and everybody else and they didn't find anything even though i gave them numbers instagram pages account facebook or cricket may what did bcci do they went and fucking registered an fir immediately mm. so that the guy has to the police has to punch an fir should you have to take action mm. why didn't uh, they do it i said can i register an fir i said no 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 mm-hmm. this is what we want to do they didn't just do anything so they don't want to do end it so this this is again systematic corruption so mm. when i was talking about killing dreams they are doing it on a daily basis man they mm-hmm. doing it with everybody for example uh, the entire population of up's dream they are killing every single day till they are not making sure that the uh, estate fa is functioning for the last 2 years there's been a big fight between the old guy who's died and his son wants to come in and somebody else who wants to come in and because of that they have not been able to send their team for the nationals or for santosh trophy for anything why not because of the kids fault the uh, players fault but because of the state fa same thing their 10 state fa for example chandigarh chandigarh did not send its team uh, for the women's nationals for the santosh trophy sorry women's nationals and the school to santosh trophy hmm. why because they just didn't feel like it hmm hmm and that dropped them the opportunity of all these girls so the colleges so they took admissions in colleges in chandigarh on based on the fact they were good sportsmen sports women and they would get to play in this and earn laurels mm-hmm. all their colleges have said please pay the fees of this year because mm-hmm. you not presented in the nationals so all these women had to now take loans and pay those fees mm-hmm. so this is happening all over bro and mm-hmm. there's no reliability or accountability the first thing praful patel said in a statement yes yes we are all sad but let's let there be no pointing of fingers that's the mm-hmm. first statement a president takes out after we are thrown out of the asian bar mm-hmm. pointing of fingers who will be point fingers at obviously you mm-hmm. you are at fault any see anything gets fucked in my place in minerva academy doesn't matter who's fucked it i am at fault mm-hmm. i'm the leader there i am at fault directly my boys win a trophy is their trophy hmm. all successes are theirs victories are theirs hmm. all the faults are mine because that's what a leader does hmm. and that's what he's supposed to do he's not available see a leader is supposed to make sure that his entire life is on that so hmm. you can't have a guy whose last priority is football hmm. 
hmm. in life hmm. Hmm. in life his first priority is not football as not even hmm. his second or third or fourth this is his last why because hmm. he spends what how much time on it day, every day hmm. probably 5 minutes because he spends probably a one hour every week on football and afr matters that's hmm. why 5 minutes a day is maximum what he spends so how hmm. can our country's football be run by 5 minutes obviously there'll be 20 states not having state leagues hmm. so in 2004 the constitution said aff constitution said that for a member body to keep its voting rights they have to have the senior men's league and the junior leagues in 2017 they took out a new constitution and took this out so you can be a member doesn't matter you don't have to do fuck all and you can still keep on putting your votes for sir uh, like you're talking about the national system in particular right now but when it trickles down to these individual clubs as well jab aap unke administrational issues ke bare mein aap uh, aap baat karte hain to just talking about let's say aapne derry dynamos ka aapne example liya tha but if i take the example of fc pune city as well and if i take the example of not even of what was happening with east bengal as well uh, like some time back and even if i talk about not administrational issues but what mohan bagan did against nazaf because that was like they played a game after a month of absolutely doing nothing they they were absolutely ghar pe ghar pe dal baat kar rahe the only no oh. that is hawas's fault because yeah. hawas had the entire yeah, film mana kar diya tha ha exactly ha hmm. and how dare he not play it that's like saying i'm not going to play the fa cup or the carling cup because we are too big for you hmm. yeah Fuck you man who are you you are you are who you are because of that calcutta league mm-hmm. exactly so where is this culture emanating from so i mean so, corporates, em- so this is all corporates because see if the fans were there if the fans decision is there name one fan who will say i don't want to play the calcutta league mm sahi baat exactly okay you ask the corporate kya hai kharcha hai kitna kharcha hai 40 lakh ka acha aise kya hai wo khud ki hai yaar it's just stupid we'll beat everybody 10 0 yaar there's no point fan injuries hoengi yaar aise bhi ठीक है रहने क्या गुण है हम इनको ना वैसे ही ले जाएंगे बाहर ऐसे घूमने के हफ्ता दो हफ्ता नजाफ ने तीन दिन पहले कंपटीटिव गेम खेला था उस गेम के पहले नो बट दैट्स व्हाट दे थॉट वाज एंड हबास सेड नो आई डोंट वांट टू प्ले एंड इट्स टोटल आई इफ आई वाज अ कोच आई वुड हैव इंसिस्टेड दैट आई वांट टू प्ले द कलकत्ता लीग नॉट फॉर कलकत्ता लीग थिंग बिकॉज़ इट्स प्री मैच प्रैक्टिस एनी मैच एक्जेक्टली एक्जेक्टली सी मैच ट्रेनिंग इज मैच ट्रेनिंग इज गेटिंग योर कॉम्बिनेशन राइट इट्स नॉट अबाउट प्लेइंग विद ग्रेट ओपोनेंट्स इवन इफ यू आर प्लेइंग विद opponents who are less than you you getting your combination in right so you if you are making mistakes playing with those opponents then definitely you going so it's a perfect place to fine tune without actually getting thrashed right mm. right and they didn't fine tune and they got thrashed mm. right and so the other same yeah. thing same thing national yeah. team yeah so yeah. the coach asked for a camp and all the isl teams refused mm. the only team to go to saf without a camp was india whereas all the other saf nations went for camps in qatar or other places for 1 1 2 2 months hmm. limbu refused hmm. to come to round glass because he said i'm going for the national nepal camp for the ili hmm. hmm exactly so chencho was saying i'm not going to come for the uh, other team because i have to go for the national camp hmm. because they were going for the national camps and they did really well if hmm. india had gone for a camp for even 1 month or 3 weeks we would have thrashed everybody mm-hmm. but they took the risk of us taking us there and they knew that we we have a big chance of even though we are see we don't become worse than them we are much better than them mm-hmm. but if you don't play together as a team and you mm-hmm. put 11 people together no matter how good you are you will look bad and that's what mm-hmm. we made to do so we started looking good probably in the semi finals and the finals mm-hmm. in the first three matches we looked Shilanga so, said draw. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the, so how do we go up? We go up because you have to compulsory give him so much of power. The hmm. coach wanted to select people from all over India. His pool becomes 300 times or three times or 300 percent three times. If you let him select from wherever he wants to select from whatever hmm. leagues, hmm. I can guarantee you that he'll find people even in the Santosh Trophy which he will fit the Indian team at that time because it'll be an untouched star nobody would have found. Mm-hmm. so any league doesn't matter if it's a kerala league somebody who can take on three people dribble and score and every time shoot is a good player test him out in a camp right you have to give chances so you have to increase your pool of players and right. not give debuts to people like that just to increase 
the ones who wear the india shirt should only be the ones who deserve it you mm. have at least 10 people who played one international how mm. dare they get the shirt if you not sure of them mm. how can you just be fucking handing out caps oh it's a friendly fuck you man 60 remains for the rest of our life in the history books you will mm. be fucking out of here my grandchildren will see the ignominy that we lost 60 in my time to uae whose population or emirati population local population jisme se team banate hain 11 lakh ki hai jo chandigarh mein mere zyada bande hain 11 lakh se hmm hmm nahi wo to wo to taunt humko every time sunne ko wahi milta hai ki itne sare log hai matlab tum football mein 11 players mein bhi tum tum 11 players nahi leke aa pa rahe acche acche players field mein portugal ke ambassador ne kaha tha na country of 140 bhai but hamare galaxy inko ye nahi inko lagta hai कि हम वी कैन प्रोड्यूस 11 प्लेयर फ्रॉम 1.4 बिलियन बट प्रॉब्लम ये है कि हम 11 प्लेयर प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं 30 में से सिर्फ हां हां प्रॉब्लम ये बहुत सही नेरो ये बहुत है 30 में से तो अच्छा सर कमिंग टू द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन बस एक सिंपल चीज जो मैं जानना चाहता हूं एज अ फैन मतलब एज अ फुटबॉल फैन एज अ एवरेज फुटबॉल वाचर इन दिस कंट्री मैं क्या कर सकता हूं इस कंडीशन को बेटर करने के लिए आई कैन सी यू आर अ चेल्सी फैन Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We need to do all clubs need to do what Chelsea does. Hmm. Hmm. Tomorrow you get fucked in your ass and you have nothing. Hmm. You go back to your youth and they'll never let you down. Hmm. In fact, they'll kick everybody's ass. Hmm. And you'll be and then tomorrow you need to buy superstars. The same youth you'll hmm. be able to sell to other people. Hmm. And then you'll be playing producing players for your country. Hmm. Hmm. so i always say they can bring a change overnight to indian football hmm. if they make sure that when you say that one or two of your players in your team have to be under 21 that's not good enough hmm. it hmm. should be they have to be under 21 and develop from your own academy hmm. Hmm. if every team knows that 10% of my match day squad will come from my own academy they'll be forced to spend money on their academy hmm. Hmm. and that is the only way and imagine then two players of under 21 are getting game time hmm. during the entire fucking league hmm. so two into 22 and two into 20, 20 because i league in isl hmm. you got a ready made player of 42 under 21 boys getting regular senior game time hmm. and because if you are having those academies ye kya mujhe do produce karne har saal to tum do nahi karoge because you have an academy trying to produce two so you will produce 6 7 6 7 8 9 6 7 8 9 if you have an academy you don't produce just two mm-hmm. as the minimum you have to produce but even if you produce one you have to have a proper academy mm-hmm. and we will not go anywhere until every we have 100 minervas mm-hmm. definitely mera business khatam ho jayega aur main bolta rehta hu ki mera business khatam ho jayega but nahi khatam hoga mera business aur badhega kyu बिकॉज मेरे को अपना एक प्लेयर बेचना है टू हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर का बार्सिल होना वो एम्बिशन होना चाहिए और वो कब बिक और मेरे को सौ प्लेयर बेंगलुरु या वो नहीं बेचने क्यों और वो कब लेगा वो तब लेगा मेरे से जब इंडिया की लीग का लेवल टॉप टेन इन वर्ल्ड में आएगा वो टॉप टेन में तब आएगा जब मेरे इंडिया में हंड्रेड रेजिडेंशियल अकेडमी आई लव कॉम्पिटिशन कॉम्पिटिशन विल ओनली टेक इंडियन फुटबॉल फॉरवर्ड it will only produce more players for the country the value of our league will go up when the value of our league goes up the value of the players as well will go up mm-hmm. see understand it's all related they have to understand that if they want to even isl clubs today you are valued why is ipl already broken even when they're making money so today you're valued at 200 300 crores tomorrow you start producing good players and those players start going in europe or you have your own league and people start watching your league because india becomes asian champions or india qualifies for the world cup and we come 7th or 8th or 6th and we become the top 10 watch leagues of the world what will be the value of your club mm-hmm. 3 billion dollars <laughs> because the whole world is watching you like the german league like the forget the german japanese league mm-hmm. again vision so whenever you agar tum local company bhi shuru karte ho na 5 lakh ke capital ki तो पहली चीज बैंक पूछता है लोन से पहले कि तेरा पांच ईयर का प्लान क्या है भाई साहब व्हाट इज योर फाइव ईयर प्लान एएफए वांट्स टू फकिंग रीच द वर्ल्ड कप आस्क देम इफ दे इवन हैव अ फॉर टू ईयर प्लान दे जापान हैज अ 100 ईयर प्लान अ 50 ईयर विजन जेएफए इज 50 ईयर विजन 100 ईयर विजन 
so they are planning for their great grandchildren sir aapne ye vision ke bare mein jo baat ki na sir bas ye this is a very good segue into this particular questions kar baba ko bolunga baba ke closer pakki nahi to hum raat tak baat karte rahenge par par sir jo aapne vision ke bare mein jo baat ki na sir ye when you have given your thoughts about indian football's road map jab shuru jab aaya tha you have given your thoughts about that have your thoughts changed over time or how have they evolved over time for you yes see they, have, they you have to evolve you have to learn by mistakes you can't be stubborn at all hmm. so the earlier thing was that you know i'm going to produce players and uh, make sure they're able to get to the world cup and i knew that i can't do it is being stupid because they need to be either given to an see we are going to get to the world cup when we have 10 players playing in the top 10 leagues of the world hmm like iran mm-hmm. has like germany has and south korea has these are the three teams which qualify for the world cup from asia every single time they don't play their own fucking leagues even though their own leagues are pretty good they go and play in europe and the best leagues on europe best leagues of the world so how is india going to do that chances of our isl players mm-hmm. even if he scores 20 goals in the isl being selected by man city are zero mm-hmm. but chances of a 16 17 year old being picked up by man city is really mm-hmm. high mm-hmm. and have i made strides towards that man city means any top league mm-hmm. club top european club for cheap yes the first time india had players in the top 60 guardians list was a minervan bikar shumnam last year and i repeated it again this year by by himanshu jangra so mm-hmm. top 60 means 6 teams only 10 10 10 players 6 teams okay so we have two players in the top 60 we have around five players in the same year in the list that batch is going to get us to the asian cup the year we have 10 in that list that batch will get us to the world right. cup any finals i'm talking about i'm talking about getting to the semi finals of the asian cup or the world cup number of players you have on the list so the players who have been on the list messi haland haland and when they were 16 year old haland pedri uh, all these guys who've been coming up each and every guy of note has been on the list because they look mm. at their performances the match and what they've done so the aim aim changed that even if i'm not able to get them out i need to get them exposure everything so exposure is not oh under 17 world cup aa gaya acha yaar yaar government yaar india government yaar world cup aa raha hai 20 ho jayegi yaar paise de do thode chalo yaar 20 crore ye lo a lot oh 20 crore aa gaye time kitna reh gaya 6 mahine ek kaam karo plan a 20 20 country trip <laughs> so they fucking took them for 20 countries in three months for mass exposure exposure is not 20 countries in three months yeah. exposure is one country every year for 10 years hmm. every year so what do they do when i say so and all the national teams of under 16s 15s of all other countries go and play in international tournaments except india's and then how do we plan to do well in afc under 16 and if you don't plan to do well in afc under 16 then how do you plan to do well in 19 or then 23 and then qualify for the olympics or get to the asian cup the whole thing is linked so how do we plan to get well in 16 by taking the team out abroad every single year we don't we only take the ones jiska koi event aa raha ho so afc asian cup aa gaya to usse pehle jo wo wala batch hai na usko le jao na every year so minerva 2034 so let's announce it on drop baba <laughs> Nova World Cup 2034 is going to be taking part in an international tournament very soon and we are going to have teams from teams like Man City's academy and Barcelona's academy and then Zenit Pe- St Petersburg's academy the Russians actually that they are the best because they are huge guys and we overage wale bade bade le aate hain even the Africans again are really good because that age you know wo age wali baat hoti hai so there is um, we going to be taking them now the cost involved will be around 15 to 20 lakhs mm-hmm. and that's the cost of see i'm spending on i've got 60 boys here we are going to be taking them up to around 75 cost of each boy is around uh 3 and a half lakhs so the budget of the world cup batch is around 2 crores 2 2.2 crores which i am spending from my entire pocket so i have a i have a choice whether i can buy a fucking ferrari or i can spend it on the world cup mm-hmm. now legacy is not winning i league titles or national titles because every club will win a fucking title every year in that age group legacy is getting your country to the world cup mm. 
Mm. That is because once you get there, then you get there again. Because once you made the dream possible and you've shown Indians that they can do it, then they will go for the kid. And we're not very far. We're not mm. very far. Every year we're going to be going. So we're going to be show, uh, starting a crowdfunding campaign. Mm. Every year we're going to ask the Indian fans to uh, fund us. So if even 20,000 people give 100 rupees, we mm. are done. Mm. We are done. And that, so they say, oh no, no, how, why should we be done, Minerva? Okay. Mm. So proof. The proof is that I was running my academy for three years and they had spent 20 crores on the under 17 World Cup team. My academy team went and beat them in their home. Hmm. And they selected seven of my players. The only goal which has been scored in the World Cup by an Indian is by Jackson Singh, who's a Minerva. Hmm. So again, it's not showing up, just showing that now. That was two years ago when we were still a fucking farm. Hmm. This is now I've been in Indian football for this is the sixth year. Imagine if I get support, proper corporate support, and I or I get funding of any kind where we can take them. So hmm. PBF is an academy in Vietnam. Which in 10 years, single academy, so go, you should enter it in CPVF, is a single academy responsible for Vietnam's rise. Mm -hmm. 2010, Sunil Chetri 3 1, hat trick, three, three goals by him. We beat Vietnam. And now Vietnam is not even under 23, they were in the finals. They've qualified for the Olympics, their final round for the World Cup. They, were in the fi they won the under 19s AFC, and, they, and the average age of their team is 21 and a half. So this academy is ranked after La Masaya, Ajax, Aspire, Qatar, and PVF. Mm -hmm. And they're done only with FIFA grants. So we don't even need FIFA grants. I'm spending 2.2 crores here. Mm -hmm. Every year, why I want the Indians to be involved, because if I'm spending 2.2, 20 is no big deal. We can raise that. Why I want them? Because it's their team. Mm -hmm. It's the fans' team. I want everyone to have a personal fucking stake in it. Mm. When they have a personal stake in it, they will fight for us. Mm. And mm. I've sh I want to show them that one academy in Vietnam can do it. Look at my track record. I can do it. I just need support. Mm. And we, the main thing is done. We have a fucking setup here, which is world class now. And we can only make it better, better, better. Mm. Mm. And I see the whole point is my priority is never going to be my seniors. It's mm. always going to be my juniors. Definitely. Mm. तो काफी एक आज इनसाइटफुल डिस्कशन और बहुत मतलब मतलब मेरे को पता है क्या लग रहा है कि इट इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट जो सर ने बताया कि हम द क्रक्स ऑफ द होल थिंग इज इट्स नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट और कोई चीज इंपॉसिबल तभी लगती है जब आप कर रहे होते हो उसको तो उस टाइम मतलब आपको लगता है कि कैसे होगा बट जब आप करने लगते हो तो दरवाजे खुलते जाते हैं भाई वही शूट करोगे तभी स्कोर करोगे ना गोल बिल्कुल और शूट करने के लिए वहां जब जाना है जाने के लिए कुछ करना पड़ेगा तभी शूट करोगे और अगर एएफएफ नहीं कर रही तो इधर वी कैन सिट ऑन आवर एसेस एंड कीप ब्लेमिंग देम और डू समथिंग आवरसेल्स एंड आई हैव गिवन यू अ वे आउट फक एएफएफ यस वी विल गेट इनटू एएफएफ आफ्टर दैट वी विल टेक कंट्रोल आवर लाइक माइंडेड मिलेनियल्स विल कम अप दे विल चेंज द थिंग बट दैट विल टेक 10 इयर्स एंड दैट मींस वी हैव टू वेट फॉर 30 इयर्स एंड देन आई डोंट वांट टू बी फकिंग ओल्ड मैन मैन बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो जैसा गाइज आपने देखा है की क्या हमको करना है क्या हमारा रोल है आई होप आपको क्लियर हो गया होगा और यही मकसद था इस डिस्कशन का की थोड़ी हमको क्लैरिटी मिले और ये पता चले की हमने क्या गलत किया है कैसे चीज सही हो सकती है और आगे का रोड मैप क्या होना चाहिए तो थैंक यू सो मच शोवित आदि ब्रो एंड ऑफ कोर्स रंजीत सर एब्सोल्यूट ऑनर एंड प्रिवलेज आप आए मजा आ गया एंड होप कि ये सिलसिला चलता रहेगा और मतलब इसी तरीके से हम मोटिवेट करते रहें जो भी लोग ये देख रहे हैं एंड गाइस प्लीज फील फॉर द गेम आपकी कंट्री है आपको ही इसको आगे लेके जाना है मेरे और आपके जैसे लोग ही कुछ करेंगे और सर एक बस एक हार्ट फिल थैंक यू टू यू फॉर बिल्डिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स ड्रीम्स सो फार एंड डेफिनेटली एक ड्रीम जो एक जो चीज आपने अनवर अली के लिए की थी दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली इंस्पिरेशन यस सर आई डोंट थिंक सो एनीवन कुड एवर थिंक इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन एंड बी सो सॉलिड टुवर्ड्स इट सो थैंक यू सर फॉर एक्चुअली डूइंग दैट एंड बीइंग देयर फॉर इंडियन फुटबॉल ऑलवेज thank you so sir thank you so much is that i would rank rank that victory as bigger than any of my titles because i didn't just save anwar his entire family and 
India's best center back. Dekh lena, mark my word. Uh, yes, absolutely, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Ho gaya, ho gaya. Love you all. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It was such a pleasure. I don't even know how the time flew by. <laughs> Bilkul, sir. And Drog Baba, oh my God. So I know now you're a total Drog Baba fan. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great, brilliant man. Uh, I'm brilliant. so so happy to be here and being able to see when you talk about Indian football, I can talk for. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, sir. And definitely, sir. definitely. Karim is our guru, and Guru knows that. I <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, guys, crux is that if we want to move forward, then what Chelsea has to do, we have to do. Yeah, point. Very good, guys. Subtle plug-in of channel. Very nice. Let's <laughs> go, okay, guys. Take care, everyone. Jai Hind. Thank you, Jai Hind.